for us to simplify and state the property used for each step of simplification. First, I want to get rid of the parentheses, so I'm going to use the distributive property. So multiplying out, recall that the distributive property is a times b plus c equals ab plus ac. Okay, this is 2 times 6x plus 2 times 3y plus 4z. So right now I'm just removing these outer parentheses. I'm keeping these intact. That'll take a second round. So plus negative 3 times the entire expression in the parentheses plus negative 3 times z. Okay, I'm going to apply the distributive property again in order to remove the remaining parentheses. So this gives me 2 times 3y plus 2 times 4z plus negative 3 times 3x plus negative 3 times negative y plus negative 3 times z. Now I'm going to multiply these out. This is 12x plus 6y plus 8z minus 9x plus negative and a negative is a positive, so that gives me plus 3y minus, this is negative 3z, so it's negative 3z. Okay, now I'm going to group together like terms, and that's using the commutative property. I can change the order of these terms. So I have my x's, 12x minus 9x. I have my y's, and that is 6y and 3y. And then finally, z's, 8z and negative 3z. All that's left to do is add like terms. So 12x minus 9x is 3x. 6y and 3y gives me 9y. And 8z minus 3z is 5z. So sim uh, simplifying this using first the distributive property to remove the outer parentheses, then the distributive property to remove these other sets of parentheses, the commutative property to reorder this to group like terms, and then simply adding or subtracting. That concludes this lesson from educator.com. See you next lesson.